work with Freetonians and our stakeholders to ensure that we transformed our city, to ensure that we addressed some of the most challenging problems which have plagued us for decades. We pulled together, we created the Transform Freetown Agenda. And on the 24th of January, 2019, it was launched. And the keynote address was given by His Excellency the President, retired Brigadier Dr. Julius Matabio. Today, on the occasion of the opening of the new City Hall, we are so excited to share with you the journey that we've been on to transform Freetown. Transform Freetown as an agenda comprises four clusters. Resilience, human development, healthy city, and urban mobility. And those four clusters relate to 11 priority sectors. Within our resilience cluster, Freetown the Tree Town, our commitment to plant a million trees and re-green the hillsides of Freetown is underway. In this rainy season, we've planted 450,000 trees with many of you Freetonians acting as tree stewards and as tree growers. Flooding was a real problem in our city. And in 2018, 2019, and 2020, we are so pleased that we've been able to implement our flood mitigation programs, clearing over 25,000 meters of drainage, over 100 bridges, waterways, and culverts, and ensuring that flooding has been minimized in our city. So that I feel extremely good, because this is the one step for solving the problem. We see the soldier man them, we see the machine, we see trucks, council on send a team. That one they alone, even the community people they appreciate them so much. So one tell is to German them, plenty, plenty thank you. One tell her worship the mayor and the Fritz and City Council, plenty, plenty thank you for member with community. We've also under our resilience cluster done work on improving drainage and with the FERP project in 10 communities we've built over 1,300 meters of improved widened drainage and resilience is also about beautifying our city and Aberdeen roundabout is testament to that. This roundabout they don't change this community and the country in the whole greatly because the way this roundabout be there in the 80s to now, a far, 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 far difference you don't create. And now you don't show a, a tourist attraction to this country and the community. I am super, super excited about the opening of the first of our FCC Early Learning Adventure Centers. These are free quality preschool nursery facilities for the children of market women. And we've opened the first at Congo Water Market in Wellington. The next is coming on at Crewtown Road Market, and there are a series to follow. So I don't pick in there, be the idol, and they go under the table. There was more small picking there. And we market two man, they all come for cancel your attention, more they power business than the picking there. Now call stop in there, and I call them be the seller. But now from where the school year come, we picking them. We glad you really, really glad you wait to do for we. The Fritos City Council, the mayor and the police, they will tell them plenty thank you Naya. Moving beyond preschool, I'm also excited at the investment we've made in our municipal schools. From the old Pambody School, which was the E.B. Williams School and now a concrete building, to the, the refurbishments and improvements made at Henry Ferguson and Kennedy Schools. Our Healthy City Cluster is probably where most Freetonians see us every day. We have been able to provide tricycles to 80 youth groups in 2019. These tricycles play a key role in household waste collection. Are they part of the Sustainable Waste Management Project from Freetown City Council? We can collect dirty over 20 to 25 householders per day. I will see the dirty number and so they, they charge the person. If not like small bag, 1,000 loans, that rest bag, 2,000 loans. And sweeping the streets daily, 68 key streets in the city are now swept, as are our markets. This makes a significant difference to the way Freetown feels, the way Freetown looks, and to all our health outcomes. It don't benefit me a lot because part of that money that I don't even foresee to us, I don't even forget business, why they uh, manage, why they take care of, how they buy me a back, how they sell, how they get profit out of it. And with the tricycles, 
now collecting waste from households. It's really important that they don't have to travel long distances. That way, they get to collect more from more homes and it also discourages illegal dumping. So the transfer stations are designed to produce, to provide that function. We're really pleased that the transfer stations at Macaulay Street and Klein Town have been completed. There's so much going on with Transform Freetown. We couldn't be doing it without you all. I want to start by thanking Freetonians. This is our collective agenda. This is what we're doing as a city. Thank you to the government of Sierra Leone that partners with us and collaborates on so many of our interventions. Thank you to our development partners, um, both in country and out of the country. Thank you to our diaspora. Thank you to the government of South Korea for this new building, which will give us the ability to do more, to engage more, and to ensure that the journey to transform Freetown not only continues, but it arrives at the goal that we have set, the transformation of our city. I ask that we give her another round of applause. Thank you very much, thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, after that video that gives us a synopsis of the key activities of council under the leadership of Mayor Ivan Akisoya, we shall now continue with the rest of the statement. It is now my pleasure to invite our worship the Mayor Ivan Akisoya, OBE, to make a statement. Minister of Local Government, Honorable Tamba Sylvanus Lamina, Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs, Solomon Jamiru, His Excellency, the Ambassador of South Korea to the Federal Republic of Nigeria and Sierra Leone, Ambassador Lee Intei, Deputy Minister of Finance, Madam Patricia Lavalie, Honorable Members of Parliament, members of the Diplomatic Corps and Development Partners, Deputy Mayors and Chairpersons, Deputy Mayor, Councillors and Staff of Freetown City Council, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, members of the Fourth Estate, welcome. It is a real pleasure to have you all here today. And as I was thinking about this building, and how it connects with Transform Freetown. I came across a quote, the words of a renowned American architect, Louis Henry Sullivan, and it reads, what the people are within, the buildings express without. I'll say that again. What the people are within, the buildings express without. Today, as we celebrate the completion of the new city hall, a beautiful 15 story structure that has transformed this little corner of Freetown, it is our intention that the transformation that this building reflects on the outside will continue to be the ethos of the people within, the ethos of the Freetown City Council. The history of the building's construction itself provides us with lessons about the journey of transformation. As was mentioned by the Chief Administrator, the concept was first muted back in 2011, and the feasibility study was done in 2012. That was eight years ago. Design works began in 2014, 
but construction was delayed because of the Ebola outbreak. And the construction eventually began in 2017. So for me, the first lesson from this building's history is that transformation can take time and may face setbacks, but with perseverance, it is always possible. The next, build, next lesson that this splendid building teaches us is the value of collaboration and the importance of multiple stakeholders in achieving transformation. This building could not have been built without the financial support of the government of South Korea. And I'd like to take a moment to thank you, Mr. Ambassador, for the generosity of the South Korean people for making the funding available for the building. Thank you. It is important to note, however, that accessing the funding from South Korea required the coordination and the support of the government of Sierra Leone, with whom the loan agreement was signed in December 2013. Many individuals worked very hard to make that happen. And I'd like to thank His Excellency, former President, Dr. Ernest Baikuruma, the former Ministers of Finance, Dr. Samura Kamara, Dr. Kelfala Mara, who is here with us, and Mr. Mamadou Kargbo, as well as the former ambassador to South Korea, Ambassador Omri Goli, for the roles that each one of them played. Construction of the building continued and support for the work also continued. So I extend my sincere thanks to His Excellency the President, retired Brigadier Dr. Julius Madabio, to the Minister of Finance, Honorable Jacob Jusufafa, and to the Minister of Local Government, Honorable Tambalamina, for their ongoing support. There were many others who were involved throughout the journey, such as Sajusu, the Financial Secretary, who was there from the start to date, as well as Mr. Sam Aruna, and many more that I can't mention. My thanks must, of course, go to the consultants and contractors, both international and local. Nahum, Rialani Balda, and Texalt. You have been amazing. Where are the consultants and contractors? Can we just have a wave of hands? Freetown City Council, as the implementing partner and the project beneficiary, has also demonstrated the power of perseverance and collab collaboration in achieving transformation. I acknowledge the roles of my predecessors, His Worship the Mayor Herbert George Williams and His Worship the Mayor Franklin Bode Gibson and their teams, especially, especially Engineer Max Govi in progressing this building. We are thrilled at Freetown City Council. Isn't that right, team? We are thrilled at Freetown City Council to be opening this building today. The building offers tremendous opportunities to enhance the work of council with the provision of additional space and faci technical facilities that will improve efficiency and effectiveness. At the same time, the provision of amenities such as the auditorium and the library will support the revival of arts and culture in our city. This transformation will not stand alone. The reconstruction of the King Jimmy Market and the Petersbrook Markets at the, under, at the other end of Wallace Johnson Street will start in January 2021, just a couple of months from now, with private sector funding. And I'm really pleased to announce that with funding from a sister city partnership, 
Freetown City Council will invest in the regeneration of the Central Business District, a regeneration that will enable us to repair our pavements, install street lights, introduce a control parking zone, and establish more pockets of green space in our city. We are already working with the relevant MD as we develop these plans. The new city hall's journey from a concept design to the beautiful and multifunctional edifice within which we are gathered today encourages us that the quest to transform Freetown may have setbacks and challenges. It may take longer than we had originally anticipated, but with collaboration and cooperation, with determination and perseverance, transformation will come to Freetown. What the people are within, the buildings express without. This building expresses beauty, resilience, growth, and harmony. We are striving to ensure that the people by the building and the city outside the building also reflect this as to collectively we continue our work to transform Freetown. Thank you. Human development, healthy city, and urban mobility. And those four clusters relate to 11 priority sectors. Within our and within Okay, thank you. Okay, let's change the position. Yes. Yes. Okay, so no, 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 the ambassador? Sure. And I guess I have to... We'll have to take pictures here. Honorable, you want to say something? Oh, uh, yes. On behalf of His Excellency, the President, uh, the third president, Julius Madabio, I declare this wonderful edifice, uh, Freetown City Council, uh, Freetown uh, City Hall, the administrative building of FCC, Oh, by the way, this is a temporary one the, because the real one, the date changed. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Just taking it off. Oh. <laughs> okay. Wonderful. I think I need to read that. The city hall constructed during the leadership of our worship, the mayor of Freetown, Ivo Akisoya Obi, with funding from South Korea, Export Import Bank of Korea, the government of the Republic of Sierra Leone, officially opened today by myself on behalf of His Excellency, <laughs> President Retired Brigadier Julius Mada Bio, uh, President of the Republic of Sierra Leone on the 6th of November 2020. Congratulations. Congratulations. some tokens of appreciation and they'll be presented by Councillor Matone. She is the councillor in this ward and this is the honourable in this ward, Honourable Alu Conte. So Matone, I go to the councillor, I believe you are first presenting 
to on behalf of the, the minister on behalf of, yeah to receive on behalf of the president Thank you. Oh, it's me. Yes. Fantastic. Oh. <laughs> Excellency, sir, the ambassador of Korea, on behalf of our worship, the mayor, councillors, Etonians, and the staff of Twitter, I am presenting this flower to you as a sign of appreciation. Thank you so much. I hope I keep this flower there forever, but uh, unfortunately, I the uh, for the water. Yes. Right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have just witnessed the cutting of the tape and the unveiling of the commemorative plan. Can we take our seats? We want to continue with the rest of the program. We want to continue with the rest of the program, so can we please take our seats? Ladies and gentlemen, we have just witnessed the cutting of the tape and unveiling of the commemorative flag. Can we take our seats, please? Can we quickly take our seats? Guests outside, can we please come in and take our seats so we continue with the rest of the program? Some of the most challenging problems which have plagued us for decades. We pulled together, we created the Transform Freetown Agenda. And on the 24th of January, 2019, it was launched. And the keynote address was given by His Excellency the President. Light refreshment will now Dr. be served. Light refreshment will now be served. You move to the back of the hall and get yourself refreshed. New City Hall, we are so excited to share with you the journey that we've been on to transform Freetown. Transform Freetown as an agenda comprises four clusters, resilience, human development, healthy city, and urban mobility. And those four clusters relate to 11 priority sectors. Within our resilience cluster, Freetown the Tree Town, our commitment to plant a million trees and re-green the hillsides of Freetown is under
standing at the altar, standing at the altar for you. Thank <laughs> you. 